I did read it to my daughter. I mean, we, we, we read a chapter every night for a really long time. She liked the part of going to sea and she liked the fights. The wonderful part of it is the digressions, which are great for me, but when you're reading it to like a seven or eight year old, she does not want to know that much about scrimshaw or about sail making or about, you know, the, the way somebody would go into a bar and drink. I've only eaten whale once, but it was sort of an interesting thing. I was on this trip, this sort of like goodwill trip of people from Los Angeles to Korea. We had gone to the Hyundai factory in Ulsan, at the very south of Korea. Ulsan was a whaling port before it industrialized. They took us to, I think, the only tourist attraction in the town, which is this whaling museum. So you go in there and there's like a skeleton of a whale and there's some uh, like whaling stuff on the walls. And there's this long line of whale restaurants, each of them with like a neon fin sticking out. So we went across the street to one of the whale restaurants, looked at a menu and we ended up ordering uh, yokwe. We ate it and it tasted kind of like beef, only a little bit worse. It was like waxier and had this weird sort of planktony aftertaste that maybe wasn't exactly what we were looking for. I wrote about it for the LA Weekly, where I was the restaurant critic at the time. I wrote a, you know, maybe a paragraph at the end about eating this whale yukwe. I included a sentence in it that my brother would probably kill me and I won't do it again. My brother is Mark Gold. He was then at Heal the Bay and he'd been there for 20 years. He was head of the organization. He's always condemning what I eat. The LA Times wrote a big article about the uh, supposed family feud. Somebody saw the big piece in the Times. They called my brother and they tried to get us both to appear together on a uh, whale show for the Discovery Channel. The day before I chickened out, there could be nothing, no good to come from being the guy on TV saying that he'd eaten a whale. For the rest of my life, I'd walk down the street and kids would point at me and say, there's the mean man who ate whales. I think Melville certainly appreciated food. You read it and you know that he cooked for himself. He evoked the, the minimalism, the sort of like feast and famine, the sort of way that a working class person might have eaten in New England at the time. I've actually never thought much about Melville as a food writer. I'm gonna to have to work a little bit harder on that now.